Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a haul video, but it's going to be the products that I picked up during the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. So these are just like a few products that I wanted to test out. Some of them are my holy grail, some of them are new, you know what I mean? I just wanted to test out a few things. So pretty much I'm just going to be showing you what I purchased. It's not a lot, okay? But it's a good amount where it hurt my bank account. So if you want to see what I picked up, then just keep on watching. And can we just uh, take a moment to appreciate the shirt and this red lip combo? I'm living for it right now. So I just picked up everything offline because I get free shipping because I'm a Platinum member. So that was just a lot easier for me instead of driving to Ulta like a lot of days in a row so I just ordered everything and then I just waited for it which it did not take that long it was probably like three days after I ordered it I got the product so pretty impressed so got my big old box so the first thing that I picked up of course I had to get this if you know what I'm talking about right now, hit that like button right now because you are a real OG. Smashbox Primer Water. I had to get this. Oh my goodness, it was 50% off. Once I saw that this was in the 21 Days of Beauty, I nearly cried. Like I was at that point because I hate spending $30 on this bottle that really does not last me that long. I use this mainly to prep my face for makeup as a primer and then I go in with like a regular smoothing out primer all in my t-zone just to make sure that my oils are controlled throughout the day this is pretty much just really good for hydrating the skin and just kind of like waking it up before you go in with your makeup I also like to spray this once I'm completely done with my makeup just to get a little bit of that powderiness you know like off of there sinks all the makeup into your face. I just love the way it smells. I love the sprayer. I love how it's so like simple in a way. It's just a very simple product but I feel like it definitely does something for me. I know some people don't agree with that but for me I absolutely see a change with this and I can tell when I use this or like the Mario Badescu one. I can just tell a difference. So love this. Obsessed. I'm so pumped that they actually had this in 21 days of beauty Alta if if you're watching this like you're probably really not but if you do put this in 21 days of beauty every single year cuz next time this is in 21 days of beauty I'm stocking up and then I did pick up another primer. This is the Benefit Pore Professional. I actually just ran out of this as soon as 21 days of beauty started so I was like yes of course, it was 50% off, so I think that makes it, what, like $15, $14? So this is a pretty expensive primer for the amount of product that you get. You get 0.75 fluid ounces. I know. It looks pretty small, but I use the tiniest amount of this just around my nose, right here on my chin, and then on my, uh, what is this, forehead. <laughs> forehead. This just really blurs out your skin for makeup applications so it looks really smooth. Oh my goodness. This is like my holy grail high-end primer I think. I think this even beats Fenty Beauty just because I feel like Fenty Beauty primer doesn't really blur out my skin as much as I want it to. And then I did pick up a new concealer. This is the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer and it is waterproof. So that's really nice. I heard great things about this so I definitely am going to be trying this out in a video to see if it is like a dupe kind of for the Tarte Shape Tape, but the wand is really nice. It's like a flat wand. It comes with 0 0.08 fluid ounces. That's not that much. That's really not that much. But we're going to test it out. I picked up the shade Light Cool. Um, I feel like this is the lightest shade they have. I could be lying to you, but I'm pretty sure this is the lightest shade they have. Um, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good brightening concealer. Hopefully it is full coverage, like it says. Blends out nicely. So yeah. If you want to see me test this out in a video for you, definitely let me know down below and I would love to do that. And then I did pick up a brow pencil. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I absolutely love skinny eyebrow pencils. I used to be a pomade type of girl, but then I recently switched over to pencils just because I feel like they make my brows just look a little bit more natural. When I was using the pomade, I couldn't really get like this feathered effect right in the beginning of my brows. I don't know. It was a whole hot mess. If you go 
back to my videos from like a year ago you can see those brows and you'll literally find it everywhere but your girl got better I think my brows are pretty good now. They're not the worst. They're not the best. I feel like it's easier to get this point on the end and it's just easier for me to fill them in. I don't like the ones that are like triangles because I feel like they're too fat. I can't get a really defined brow so they just frustrate me. And I picked up the shade Dark Brown. Hopefully this isn't too dark for me. I love this. This was on sale for $10 so I was like that's insane. That's the price of a drugstore eyebrow pencil but it's high end and these are so much better and then the last products I picked up were lippies <laughs> I absolutely love the Tardiste lip paints like the quick dry ones absolutely love them that's what I have on my lips right now and they are so comfortable they dry down so fast they stay on my lips for a pretty good amount of time so that's why I love them and I did pick up four more shades these were each ten dollars each which is half of the price so I mean I went crazy I was really just gonna get one shade and then I was going through the shades and I was like these are all really pretty I think I'm gonna get four of them but anyways I picked up the shades front row bling bestie and get it so i'm gonna swatch them for you this is get it this reminds me of like a peach color it's gorgeous like that is literally the most stunning color for the upcoming spring season and summer i can just see myself wearing this so much with sundresses and cute shorts and just like cute outfits so that's Get It, super cute, like peachy nude. Oh, so that is Bestie right there. You can see it's like totally different than this one, even though they kind of looked similar online. But it definitely is a nude. It's like that perfect nude for my skin tone. It's just gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to wear that. And then this is Bling. And that right there is bling and I actually don't have one lipstick in my collection this color so I'm so ecstatic to wear this in the spring and summer oh my goodness even in the fall time <gasps> that right there is front row so you can definitely see the difference between them all right and those are all the products that I picked up during 21 days of beauty I didn't get a lot like I said but I did get a good amount where my bank account is hurting but whatever that's what you do when you love makeup so don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell button next to it to be notified every second I upload. Give this video a like if you like these types of hauls. You know what I mean? Who doesn't love a haul? I love hauls. You know? And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves.